Well, you know, do you know that cybercrime is becoming a growing problem in Fiji? Cybercrime is defined as a crime in which a computer is the object of the crime, such as hacking and spam. Cybercrime is also cyberbullying and using fake profiles to cause panic and spread false news. If you're involved in this or know anyone who's committing these crimes, report them immediately. I'm Polly. And I'm Peter. We host the Traffic Jam Show on City FM. From 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. every weekday. Do, do the, the right, right thing. In this bulletin, medical scholarships suspended. More resources for anti-drug operations. And home loan rates drop. From the studios of FBC Suva, Atera Lendua. Student loans and scholarships for medical studies at the Fiji National University have been suspended for 2021. The suspension of the scholarship funding is for new students who want to pursue studies in the two respective fields. Acting Dean of the College of Medicine, Dr. Donald Wil Wilson, says new students for 2021 pursuing medicine and dentistry will have to pay their own tuition fees. So this means that uh, this year, the first year uh, for the MBBS and the oral health or dentistry programs, we'll no longer have students who are sponsored by TSLB. Days after confirmation that banks are considering interest rates reductions, a number of them have announced new measures. ANZ has removed loan approval fees for new customers, while HFC no longer charges administration fees on first home loans. Association of Banks Chair Rakesh Ram says these steps are meant to assist Fijians access loans while also bringing in new business. As of December 31st, total liquidity in the banking system stood at $836.8 million. ANZ Bank has confirmed it will also allow waiver on loan restructuring fees for commercial customers on a case-by-case -case basis. The Fiji police force now has adequate resources to fight against drugs with the formation of the Narcotics Bureau. Acting Commissioner Rusiate Tundravu says the initiative is a way forward to halting the import, sale and consumptions of hard drugs such as methamphetamine. Tundravu adds in recent years they have executed a massive number of raids across Fiji and seized hard drugs worth millions of dollars. He says they only selected matured officers who have the capacity to deal with sensitive drug issues to man the Bureau. The unit is one that we would like to be independent in dealing with drugs, hard drugs, the money that is involved in it. So we would like to have matured uh, police officers that are there, uh, people with uh, integrity that will, uh, that will honour uh, the appointment that is done to them. More than 480 cases of sexual offences were brought to court in 2018 and 2019, with the youngest victim being a two-year-old. Despite a national outcry over incidents of rape, there seems to be no end to these crimes, with new cases reported almost daily. Counselors say while sexual violence can be caused by psychological issues, the majority are attempts by perpetrators to have power and control over their victims. Psychologist Selina Kuruleva says unchecked social behaviors at a young age has been identified as one of the contributing factors to rape and sexual assaults. They often start as a peeping tom. Someone is having a shower, they go and spy. Someone is sleeping in the room, they spy. Another thing they do is taking underwear, taking undergarments of people that they're, that they're interested. Residents of Wunimoli settlement in Tamabuewai are concerned that a nearby commercial development could have environmental impacts. The local government ministry has issued a stop work order against the company following an inspection by the Suva City Council. Pramila, the Minister Pramila Kumar says civil work at the site is not in accordance with engineering plans submitted. When it comes to the um, cutting of slopes, you know, various civil works that's been undertaken, uh, people are not mindful of how they cut the slope. So when they cut the slope, they do not consider people living around that area. And sometimes the, the slopes are cut so deeply that 
due to some heavy rain, the, the slope slips further and that affects the people living below the slope. Infamous Facebook commentator Kishore Kumar has been served with disclosures this morning. The former computer science teacher appeared in the Suva Magistrates Court facing six counts of indecently annoying yes. a person and one count of criminal intimidation. It is alleged that he insulted the modesty of the National Federation Party MP Lenora Gerger Tambua by posting videos claiming that Gerger Tambua is a porn star in Fiji. His bail has been extended and the case will be called again on the 2nd of next month. Up ahead, Skipper Cup target for Northland and positive feedback on basketball development. The journey to the 2021 Skipper Cup competition has begun for Northland to maintain its spot amongst top tier teams. Northland was relegated in 2019 to the Vodafone Vanua Cup and made a comeback last year to reach the top two teams in the B division. Northland official Levi Drew says they will be doubling their preparation for the 2021 Skipper Cup. The team that uh, is going to be promoted to play for the skipper will uh, need to work um, I know, um, to double the preparation because uh, we are not new to the skipper, but uh, we will be uh, uh, faring with all the, the big uh, teams yeah? and we have that, that uh, they have the big names uh, and uh, they've been dominating uh, the domestic uh, competition. Flying Fijian Semi Randrandra scored his third Gallagher Premiership try in 11 outings for Bristol Bears in their 27 win against defending champions Exeter Chiefs. Basketball coach Aseli Tamanito Kula believes secondary school students should be given more game time to help hone the skills they have for the sport. Guiding the Lions Basketball Club in the recently concluded Camp Pacific Championship, Tamanito Kula says the standard of the game has improved compared to the past years. However, he says more competitions are needed, particularly for students, in order to take the sport up a level higher. It's been improving a lot. From the years I've been coaching, the standard has improved year in, year out, and I'm really proud of that. I've, actually, I've seen a lot of improvements in the defense and um, in the offense play. A two-time New Zealand Olympic medalist is hoping a new initiative for the Sail Grand Prix will open up more genuine pathway for female swimmers in the sport. Expect partly cloudy weather and a chance of showers in the southern areas of Fiji, while in the north, cloudy skies, showers and some time or some heavy rain is expected. That's FBC News Now. Join us again at 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. For news you can trust, get the facts from FBC's TV, radio and digital news at fbcnews.com.fj. Take care. Good afternoon. हमारे खूबसूरत देश फीजी में चाइल्ड अब्यूज की घटनाएं आए दिन बढ़ रही हैं। क्यों बच्चों का मासूम बचपन अब्यूज का शिकार हो जाता है अपने बच्चों की सुरक्षा का खास ख्याल रखें। उनसे बातचीत करें उनके दोस्तों के बारे में जानें। आज के बच्चे देश का भविष्य है मैं दीप्ति और मैं मोनिश आपके हम सफर शामिल हो जाए हमारे साथ मंडे टू फ्राइडे फाइव फोर्टी फाइव तक रेडियो फीजी टू देश की धड़कन आरोप